everybody. It's been quite a few months since I've just kind of sat down and casually talked to you guys. Um, so I guess this is going to be part update, part filler, um, part I don't even know. <laughs> I've been thinking for a while about incorporating some shorter videos in with my longer ones. So right now, mostly what I do is my reviews, my informational videos, but um, in the midst of, you know, kind of being um, short on time these days, I'm thinking of making some shorter videos and maybe some of you guys who, you know, you can't sit through a long video, you might find it useful as well. I get a lot of questions over and over and over again that can be answered in two minutes or less, but they don't really fit in with a particular other topic. So I can't expand on that to make like a, a seven to 10 minute video like I do with my other ones. So I'm thinking of doing um, some short videos where I just answer one question at a time and uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys, you know, you might not have even thought of that question before. Maybe you were thinking it, but were too shy to ask. So I put up a poll on Facebook and a lot of people liked the name Fast Foundations. So I think I'm going to be doing that. So maybe I'll switch around my schedule and do like Fast Foundation Fridays or something like that. So in order to collect questions for content uh, for these videos coming up, I just searched through some of my old uh, YouTube videos. I searched on Facebook messages and my emails and whatnot. And I also went through my search terms that uh, people write in to lead them to my website because I want to know what are people asking and how are they finding my website and some of them are <laughs> uh, to say the least not directly related to anything on my website. So I thought today as a little bit of a filler and a little bit of fun, I might answer some of these outlier questions today. Now be aware that I do not consider myself a comedian <laughs> at all, uh, but I think these questions sort of speak for themselves. So these were some of the search terms that I've gotten in the past week. Lucy's Fahas. Um, I've talked about Fahas before in the context that I don't like those rubber cinchers. So this might have been just one of those Googled uh, lost in translation things or uh, they might have just forgotten the name of corset or something. But if you want to see my video about waist cinchers and uh, the difference between those rubber cinchers and corset, you know, short corset cinchers, I'll link that video right up there. The next search term is Lucy Pooping. Now, I don't know if they were searching for a very specific video uh, or a very specific model who, who does this sort of thing. Um, they probably found my website because of my uh, corsets and toilet issues article. Um, if you haven't seen that video, it's right up there. There's nothing graphic in it. I just uh, tell you basically uh, some tips and tricks on how to dress, how to wipe. <laughs> this is that's going downhill already. But honestly, there's nothing graphic in that video. I think I might have drawn some really crude cartoons um, showing the layers of dress so that you'd be able to go to the bathroom as easily as possible, but that's about it. By Waist Trainer Walmart. Now, I mean, I guess this isn't such an outlier, but I wanted to talk about it because nothing you see in my videos or on my website you will be able to find at Walmart. Uh, it's, I guess, a, just a different demographic. So if you are looking for an affordable waist cincher or corset and you're limited by budget, um, I do have a page on my website, Corset Brands by Price Range. I can actually link it somewhere on this screen and in the description below. Um, so it has like corsets under $100, uh, corsets $200 and under. And I also have my guided galleries where I show you, you know, where to buy cinchers under $200, where to buy custom fit corsets under $200. So I mean, if you're looking for a cheaper corset, then you know, don't look at Walmart, <laughs> please. Um, because uh, the, the type of courses I show in my videos you you're not gonna find at Walmart the next one is what is the meaning of gives me the jit I had never heard of that expression before until I saw it in my search term you know directory referrals whatever uh, so I did look it up and apparently it just means giving you a hard time um, jit is actually a short form of a derogatory term for the uh, Romani so um, yeah, I don't recommend that you use that expression. How often does Men's Warehouse have a buy one get one free sale? I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. How to accentuate your waist without strangling yourself in a corset? You wear the corset around your waist and not around your neck. What does lemon water do? 
I've actually never talked about lemon water on my website, but I actually do drink lemon in hot water almost every morning. Uh, I find it just really refreshing. I find that, you know, like if you wake up with sort of like, you know, a garbly feeling and your throat feels thick, I find that it's a little bit astringent and it sort of like cleanses everything and it hydrates you first thing in the morning. And I, I kind of like it sort of like a tea, just, um, I mean, a lot of people think that it has a lot of detox benefits. If you're one of those people who don't drink eight glasses of water every day, then hydrating yourself is always beneficial. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with drinking lemon water. Just make sure that you protect the enamel on your teeth. The next search term is, can corsets make your intestines come out? Now, when I read that, I sort of uh, got this illusion of, you know, you're squeezing that, like a can of worms or a can of snakes really, really hard, and then pfft, but more likely this person was thinking of the word hernia and it, the word just wasn't coming to them. Um, some people have written me and said that uh, a corset has actually helped with their hernia if it's in a certain place in their abdomen and the inter-abdominal pressure from the corset actually helps to keep the intestines in. However, if you have a different type of hernia that is sort of, you know, like a hiatus hernia or uh, one of the hernias in your groin or something, then you have to be more careful uh, because the intra-abdominal pressure might exacerbate that. So if you're thinking about wearing a corset uh, and you have a hernia or you're worried that a corset may cause or exacerbate a hernia, then check with your doctor. How to make a neat knot in a sarong skirt. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know very much about that. You probably found my website through uh, my whirling turban video because that dress has a sarong skirt with a cute little bow on it. Um, but that dress sort of just came with the bow and I didn't change it, so sorry. Satin Zipper Corset Fredericks Review. Um, it's not likely that you will ever see a Fredericks of Hollywood review on this channel. I have done some cheaper uh, corset reviews in the past. I don't consider them to be real corsets. Um, like an eBay corset and there was another plastic bone corset. So if you're interested in seeing the eBay satin corset, um, you can see it right up there. I'll link it up there for you. God in a Nutshell Project. I have no idea how these people found my website. Um, because there's a very special reason that I don't talk about anything that has to do with beliefs and whatnot on my website because it's just fodder and uh, you know people will always get into arguments no matter what the platform on the on the internet so um, I have no idea how you found my website and the last search term is upper bomb bomb <laughs> once again I don't think I've ever talked about an upper bomb bomb in my <laughs> But I guess there is one thing that I can say about an, an upper bum sort of tailbone region, and that is if the uh, bones in the back of your corset by the grommets are way too stiff, it can have a tendency to sort of poke and jab into your, your tailbone or your upper bum area. Um, so I am actually going to be making a video on how to very gently uh, curve the bones in the back of your corset so that it lays nicely over your tailbone and curves with the lumbar area of your spine. Um, instead of just kind of forcing you into a hunch posture and like digging into your bum. Um, so that's all of the search terms I had. And that was just the, the I guess, the outlying um, search terms from this past week. I mean, if I were to go back a couple of years, I'm sure there would be some much more interesting ones. So I hope this video helped some of you guys, even if it's just providing a couple minutes of entertainment. Um, I will be back later this week with a more substantial video. And if you guys like the idea of Fast Foundations, where I just answer one quick corset-related question one at a time, like, you know, two minutes or less or something, um, just kind of interspersed uh, between the longer videos, and let me know. And if you have any burning questions, let me know in a comment below, and I'd be happy to add them to the list uh, to answer in my Fast Foundations playlist. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.